I'm known as the Human Ken doll, and I'm getting my dream legs. This is gonna be my thousandth cosmetic procedure. I wanted to be the first person to do full leg augmentation with eight implants all at one time. Dare you! <laughs> Putting them all together in a single surgery, that would be the first that's ever been done. I have baby Ken here. He's my sidekick. <laughs> when we were in surgery, I may have done something a little surprising. So I just went and picked up my wheelchair. I'm gonna need that wheelchair for at least a week. That's what the doctor thinks. So about 10 years ago, I had this idea for a full leg augmentation. And it was exciting to me because I had never seen anyone do it before. So hopefully in the history books of plastic surgery, I'll be there when it comes to leg implants. And that's exciting to me. It definitely is on the more extreme side as far as just the level of risk that we're taking with this. Last time the audiences saw me, I was with two of my other amazing plastic friends, Ken Daddy and Baby Ken. It's great to be able to have Baby Ken back here, and unfortunately, uh, Ken Daddy wasn't able to join me. I have my mother and all my besties with me to support me and help me through this procedure. Fan club, the Justin Jellica fan club. <laughs> <laughs> We're headed to Dr. Epley's office. Uh, the overall total spent on my body modifications is 950,000 US dollars. Including today's procedure, I will have spent 985,000 US dollars. My legs, I'm looking for more of an overstylized look. Uh, oh Dr. Epley! It's like a birthday cake. Oh my god, it's a big tear. Dare you! <laughs> 23. So I have 23 implants in, in total. <laughs> and if you look at that as a ratio of your total body weight, which is what? 168, 170. Yeah, so 15% of you is not real. <laughs> <laughs> I want to have something with more definition, with more volume, and uh, I really think that the implants that I've designed are going to give me that type of a look. Everything about the implants has been customized. 100% Justin Jedlaka, mixed in with Dr. Barry Eppley. The different areas we're augmenting in his leg, the calves, the thighs, those certainly have been done before, but putting them all together in a single surgery, that would be the first that's ever been done. I've never had my legs worked on before, so it's a little scary. My OR. In the middle of surgery, uh, we have the first leg done. We have the Two cab implants, his legs are looking amazing. One leg is looking like he went to the gym, the other is looking like he skipped a few days. You have to get this big implant in through this small incision. And that's really somewhat stressful in surgery. Can you get this implant in? That is the challenge. In surgery, we when they put the quads in, it was a little over exaggerated. So I told the doctor, and we shaved them down and we recontoured them. Justin, there he is. Hey, Justin. Say hello to America. Hi. <laughs> when we were in surgery, I may have done something a little surprising. <laughs> You're gonna like it. Don't worry. You know how you design my body? Now I guess I got to design yours a little bit too. So I finally made it home. It's not totally over now. Um, the surgery's finished, but now comes the hard part for me. <laughs> I have to heal. <laughs> I feel sore as <laughs> Since I had my surgery in Indianapolis, uh, I went through my healing process and wasn't necessarily the easiest, so today, I'm going to have my massive leg reveal to my boys and uh, get their comments on how they think it came out. They're gonna be the next ones on the operating table. <laughs> well, I'm super excited to see Justin's legs. I will say, hopefully it fixed his walk because when, you ever notice when he walked, he always was like bow-legged. They always went in and he had a swoosh. That is so <laughs> nice. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Hey. How are you doing? Oh my god. So are you ready? Yes. See my new leg. Yes. Ta-da! Wow. Oh my god. Don't they look cool? They look amazing. Right? Being a pioneer in the field of plastics was always very important to me. I know I'll continue to do my body modifications, 
I'll continue to try to push the envelope and be an extremist in the field of plastic surgery and body modifications. And I know that I'll never stop.